I am an ugly daughter. I am the one nobody comes for. Nenny says she won't wait her whole life for a husband to come and get her. That Minerva's sister left her mother's house by having a baby, but she doesn't want to go that way either. She wants things all her own to pick and choose. Nenny has pretty eyes, and it's easy to talk that way if you are pretty. My mother says that when I get older, my dusty hair will settle and my blouse will learn to stay clean, but I have decided not to grow up tame like the others who lay their necks on the threshold waiting for the ball and chain. In the movies, there is always one with red, red lips who is beautiful and cruel. She is the one who drives the men crazy and laughs them all away. Her power is her own. She will not give it away. I have begun my own quiet war. Simple, sure, I am the one who leaves the table like a man without putting back the chair or picking up the plate. Geraldo, no last name. She met him at a dance. Pretty, too, and young, said he worked at a restaurant, but she can't remember which one. Geraldo, that's all. Green pants and Saturday shirt. Geraldo, that's what he told her. And how was she to know she'd be the last one to see him alive? An accident, don't you know? Hit and run. Marine, she goes to all those dances. Uptown, Logan, Embassy, Palmer, Aragon, Fontana, The Manor. She likes to dance. She knows how to do cumbias and salsas and rancheras even. And he was just someone she danced with. Someone she met that night. That's right. That's the story. That's what she said again and again, once to the hospital people and twice to the police. No address, no name, nothing in his pockets. Ain't it a shame? Only Marin can't explain why it mattered. The hours and hours for somebody she didn't even know. The hospital emergency room. Nobody but an intern working all alone. And maybe if the surgeon would have come, maybe if he hadn't lost so much blood, if the surgeon had only come, they would know who to notify and where. But what difference does it make? He wasn't anything to her. He wasn't her boyfriend or anything like that. Just another brasser who didn't speak English. Just another wet back. You know the kind. The one who always looks ashamed. And what was she doing out at 3 a.m. anyway? Marine, who was sent home with her coat and some aspirin. How does she explain? She met him at a dance. Geraldo in his shiny shirt and green pants. Geraldo going to a dance. What does it matter? They never saw the kitchenettes. They never knew about the two-room flats and sleeping rooms he rented, the weekly money orders sent home, the currency exchange. How could they? His name was Geraldo, and his home is in another country. The ones he left behind are far away. We'll wonder, shrug, remember. Geraldo, he went north. We never heard from him again.